Any politician pushing for an assault weapons ban is not trying to save your life, they're trying to control your life. When politicians talk about banning assault weapons, they're mainly talking about AR-15s. There are over 20 million AR-15s in this country, yet AR-15s are used in less than 1% of gun deaths. More people die from being stabbed to death than they do from AR-15s. More people die from being hammered to death than they do from AR-15s. Hell, more people die from being beat to death by hands and feet than they do AR-15s. Not only that, the number of people killed by AR-15s declined from 2017 to 2018. And I'll remind you again that there are 20 million AR-15s in this country and the vast majority of criminals get their guns illegally on the black market and most of the guns they use are handguns. So an assault weapons ban wouldn't stop criminals from having AR-15s, only law-abiding citizens who currently use those same AR-15s to defend their families against the same criminals that an assault weapons ban wouldn't stop from getting AR-15s in the first place. So tell me, how is an assault weapons ban supposed to save our lives when it's the least used gun to take lives and one of the least used anything to take lives and the only people an assault weapons ban will prevent from having them are law-abiding citizens? An assault weapons ban is not about saving lives. It's about taking one of the most effective tools in fighting a tyrannical government out of the hands of the people who would be fighting the tyrannical government if it became tyrannical. Kind of hard to fight off a tyrannical government if you don't have access to the most effective weapon to do it. So it should be of no surprise that the only people pushing for an assault weapons ban, the hardest, are the people who are part of not only the government, but the political party whose entire platform is based on giving the government as much power as possible. And you know what? I don't blame them. It's actually smart as hell. If I was part of the government and wanted the government to have as much power as possible, I would tell the people this. I, big government, want to keep you safe so you don't have to worry about it. But in order for me to do that, you have to trust me and give me your guns so that the other bad people that I'm protecting you from can't get them. However, what they don't talk about is what are you supposed to do when you need protection from the people who are supposed to protect you? They literally say, oh, we would never do that. And even if we did become tyrannical, it's not like your little guns could stand a chance against our might of the big government. It's literally a pimp and prostitute relationship that they're trying to sell. The pimp says, go out and work, but give me the money you make and I'll use it to protect and provide for you. And if you don't, I'll beat your ass. And she has no choice because she's completely dependent on the pimp for her safety and living provision. The same way the government wants us to work and give them our guns and money, i.e. taxes, so that they can keep us safe and provide for us. And if we don't, they gonna beat our ass. There's nothing on this planet that has a more established record of killing people in mass than the government. So thank you, but no thank you. I'll go ahead and keep my AR-15 just in case the government starts killing in mass again. And as far as the criminals are concerned, my AR-15 would deal with them too. Right now there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you wanna keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion. It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to get your I will not comply, I lost all of my guns in a boating accident, the AR-15 is protected by the Second Amendment, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirts, click the links in the description section of this video.